If you're using Facebook to grow your business online, I'm gonna teach you today how to figure out who your target audience is. Who are you really talking to? Who do you have a solution for? Then I'm also gonna show you how you can find them on Facebook by searching different groups and making new connections with people. And I'm also gonna show you how you can turn that target audience into more leads and sales by providing value and content that's important to them. So stay tuned. Christina Walsh and on this channel every week I'm going to share my love for health and fitness. I'm also going to teach you about how you can grow your own business online and share different opportunities that I think are valuable. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and tune in every week so you can learn more. Is your target audience? That really is the first thing that you need to figure out. So it's not necessarily a man or a woman or a certain age, um, although that might be part of it. Um, but really, you need to think about who your product or your service or your coaching can help. That's really who your target audience is. So you really want to think about you know, what they're going through more like on an emotional level what they're going through what type of problem they might have and does your product or service or coaching have a solution for that so what do i mean by that let's say um you're in a weight loss company but you are um, friends with all people that are just concerned about their skin and don't really care about weight loss well you probably aren't going to make that many connections or sales in that way. But if you're in a weight loss company and you connect with people who are really struggling with weight loss, this is something that they've been dealing with for a long time. They're really looking for a solution to kind of turn their life around. It's something that's keeping them up at night. You know, they really want to change it, but they don't know how. Like you could be the person to offer that person a solution. Or maybe, um, you're in a skincare company and you help people with like acne problems. <clears throat> Your target audience would be people not just with skin. You know, a lot of times we think like, oh, anyone with skin. Well, that's not true. Um, your target audience would probably be more like somebody who is struggling with acne. Somebody, it's been a problem for a long time. They're trying to figure out like, how they can resolve this problem. It's keeping them up at night. Um, they're embarrassed to go outside. They're like frantically searching to find a solution and they haven't found it yet. So you really, when you're trying to figure out who your target audience is, like really also think about it on an emotional level, not just like women in their 40s. You know, that is, you know, can be like part of it, but you also want to really think about really narrowing it down, thinking about, you know, their pain point, and do you have something that could solve that, All right? So that's really the first thing you need to do. And once you figure out your tar target audience, then you need to find them, right? So where are you gonna find them? So social media is great. Today I wanna talk to you a little bit about Facebook. Um, Facebook's one of the most um, widely used platforms. So you can find your target audience on Facebook. So. If you're someone in a skincare company and want to help people with acne, then what you want to do is you want to search groups and pages that have people with this problem in it already, people that are already looking for a solution to this. And you want to make connections in those groups, kind of see um, you know, who's involved in those groups, like send them a message, send them a friend request, and that's one way you can connect with them. So you want to have those people on your Facebook profile so that they can see you all the time. So figure out your target audience and then go find them in groups and pages and send them a friend request, connect with them. And once you have them on your friends list, then what you need to do is not start like messaging them and sending them links like, hey, are you interested in my skincare company? Um, that doesn't typically usually work out very well for us, right? Um, maybe in a rare occasion, but you want to, you know, once you send them a friend request, like send them a like, hello, great connecting with you. And then um, on your page, give value to these people. So 
you know, do live videos about how you can help your skin. Um, you know, I'm using the skincare example. If you're someone, um, you know, who wants to help people in network marketing, like do live videos um, that can show them how to grow a Facebook group or, you know, how they can make more connections with people. But you want to um, give value on your page. Post things that give value, inspiration, motivation, ticks, tips <laughs> and tricks. Um, and live video is a great way on your personal page to connect with people and whatever niche you're in, if it's like weight wellness or skincare or marketing, make live videos about those topics, not your products, but about those topics and show people that you're the expert. So when they do finally decide that they want to purchase something, they know you're the person to come to. So I hope you find this helpful use this utilize it and you will start seeing progress so make sure you know who your target audience is and you find them and then make sure you're giving them value day after day after day hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i hope you found some value in this video and that you can start using some of these strategies in your own business looking forward to seeing you in the next video and don't forget to live your best life